No surprise, they all think the Singapore swing was a big fat strikeout. The president was not phased by all the hate raid, tweeting, quote, Heading back home from Singapore after a truly amazing visit, great progress was made on the denuclearization of North Korea. Hostages are back home. We'll be getting the remains of our great heroes back to their families. No missiles shot, no research happening, sites closing. And then got along great with Kim Jong-un, who wants to see wonderful things for his country. As I said earlier today, anyone can make war, but only the most courageous can make peace. Hashtag Singapore Summit. Now, to be fair, the president did not solve the whole crisis. So why is the left so quick to condemn this first step? Joining me now, former White House press secretary, he is back in action, Sean Spicer is here. Welcome back, Sean. Thanks, Kennedy. It's great to be back. Thank you for being back. Um, so let's talk about the reaction on the left. I was watching Adam Schiff today on MSNBC, and you know, although Democrats said that they would Sorry give, about that. Uh, yeah, well, it, was, it wasn't my choice. I was at the gym. Uh, but uh, Adam Schiff was, was such a negative Nancy about the whole thing. And Democrats had promised that if the president emerged from the meeting with something positive and productive, productive rather, that they would give him credit for it. But they can't help themselves. That's where you talk. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were playing a clip. No, no. I, thank you. Uh, <laughs> look, I remember, I remember their outrage. I re look, th at least they're consistent, because I remember the outrage that they all expressed when President Obama sat down with a dictator and went to a baseball game with him down in Cuba. Oh, wait, that didn't happen. They cheered that. So I guess, I guess that's a bit of hypocrisy when it comes to the standard that they now apply to President Trump. The bottom line is this. No matter what the president does, whether it's the economy or foreign policy, it will never be good enough. It will always be bad. And that's horrible because there are certain things that we all should root for as Americans. We just saw this week Bill Maher root for the economy to tank because that's, quote, what it would take to get rid of Trump. The idea that these people are rooting against their fellow citizens, rooting against the success of our country because they don't like the president shows just how bad and hypocritical they are. This is a big problem. The president of the United States just did what no one thought was thinkable and potentially saved hundreds of thousands, if not millions of potential lives because of this historic agreement. And instead of cheering it on, they're, they're finding every piece of negativity in it. And that's, I think, frankly, just unbelievably wrong. It's interesting because, you know, this happened uh, very early in the morning. Uh, the president finally spoke around 4.15 Eastern Daylight Time uh, in the a.m., of course, and that is quite early. But already, as of the early morning shows, there were talking points generated. Uh, where did they come up with this stuff? And is it important to the president that he changes that perception and that he changes their talking points and wins over uh, some of those voices on the left? Well, I think he is. And that's the thing is that as extreme as the mainstream media and the left have become, you've seen the president's approval rating tick up. Because the problem is, is that the more extreme they go, whether it's demeaning the the effects of the tax cuts are undermining the nature of this historic agreement, the more out of touch they look. And what happens is, I think most Americans start to tune in and say, that's insane. The guy went over, did this thing, apparently struck this result, and they start to tune out yeah. uh, a lot of these outlets because they start to realize that it is so over the top extreme that they, they need to find their information elsewhere. And that, that's the thing, is that they continue to so help him by being this nuts. And, you know, a lot of voters, Sean, are not tethered to party. I know you worked for the RNC for a long time, and you may see it differently, but people say to themselves, you know what, I like having a job. I like that I have uh, <laughs> visible evidence of a tax cut. I like that, you know, we may have diminished the threat of nuclear war from the Korean Peninsula. You know, I, I like that what was once considered a few months ago to be the most unstable place on the planet might, in fact, see peace and prosperity. And sometimes, even if people don't like the president's actions, even if they were uh, put off by how he behaved at the G7, this kind of stuff tends to resonate with independent voters. What do you think? I think you're absolutely right. Look, elections come down to security. 
national security and economic security. Whether or not people feel safe and whether or not they feel like the economy is strong and their well-being is sound is what all that matters going into an election. And right now the economy is humming along. People are finding work. Their wages, their wages are growing. The economy continues to move forward in almost every major indice. And as far as safety goes, they look at the threats around the world, whether it's ISIS that's on the run or the threat of nuclear holocaust uh, or war because of North Korea striking an ally or us, in fact. Mm -hmm. And they realize that this president's getting results. And that's what, at the end of the day, they might not like some of the noise. They might not appreciate some of the other stuff. But they know that the president's getting results. And they can feel it. And they know that he's, he's doing this. Therefore, I feel that he's going to do well and Republicans will do well. So the independents are going to reward the party and the people that are getting results for them. Yeah, I don't blame them. All right. I love freedom and prosperity. Sean Spicer, thank you so much. Good to see you.